morning. Hello and welcome to my daily blog, Life on our Beef and Animal Farm here in South Yorkshire. It's a bit windy. Um, it's not too cold though. I've come in Becky's car because I think it looks like I'm going to have to get that washed and uh, prepared to put up on Auto Trader or something like that. And we got cows to feed. Fingers crossed, big mix coming in. And yeah, see what we get up to. Business. Hopefully I'll get time to clean up Becky's motor a little bit later. Um, but we're just opening the door and we better get the straw blower in the, out of the depths of the darkness of the shed. So we'll get back to out of here. My dad will get on the TM. We'll uh, get stuff rocking here. We'll get the Teagull loaded up. Then we can get some straw blown out. It is good, this tractor. I can just spin it round in the yard turning circle on it is absolutely immense um, you can really tell how good it is when you've been on like the 6.9 or something and, or the 2.10 two is absolutely terrible for turning it's got two bigger tyres on it this is really nimble just great for this job backing into places Michael? Michael? Hey you? Yeah. You're off for Christmas now? Yeah. Oh! Is your wife off for Christmas? Are you coming in Christmas then? Yeah, I'm coming Christmas Day, Dad's already around me. Are you? Christmas morning, yeah, you're not here, are you? No. Where are you going? Huddersfield. <laughs> Back to no, mum and Dad. I ain't got no kids, have I? They're all not big. Still your babby, though. Hey? Still your babby. Ah, oh, Lozzie? Yeah. I'm going for Christmas dinner. She's not talking to me. Why? She's got arse on. Is it because. Well, you weren't talking to me last week, were you? Well, I wasn't very yeah. well last week, Joe. I, I rang him, I thought the worst, I texted him asking if he's all right. Just listen to me now, right? Wait till you get some notches on your age, right? And I'll tell you something, right? Put that in your comments. <laughs> right, I better jump out and push that meal up in a second. I've got this bale emptied out. Wind's playing havoc yet again. This is uh, Ben feeding them like this. Feed them this way. If we did, we ought to use a silage pusher and then push this up. Overhang, looking good. A few more to go on. That's our new addition, that's going to be sheeted, and then this area here will remain dry, hopefully, as long as it's not a lean towards the shed, which I don't think there is. But, um, It'll definitely keep the troughs dry and just minimise our wastage because that food that we've uh, got out from the cattle is going to be in tip top condition all day and um, if it's getting wet, it's not, is it? So, little improvements like that will just uh, hopefully pay for themselves over the years, make everything better. So, we're in here covering them in straw to keep them better down, to keep them happy, to keep them healthy. We're gonna do this every day, like Christmas day, we'll be in feeding these and bedding them down. What we might actually do on Christmas day this year is we might bed down on Christmas Eve, like double amount, so that we don't have to bed down on Christmas day. Yeah, that's what we'll probably do. But feeding wise, we'll still feed them twice a day, um, every single day. We have to, because they, they eat it up. Like, the troughs have been empty this morning. We've top them up now, and they'll be empty in the afternoon, and top them up in the evening. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's non it's non-stop livestock farming, you know? It really is. It's a, uh, it's a lifestyle and a passion. It's, it's got to be, otherwise <laughs> you wouldn't do it. It is blasting in here well now. The straw party, as I like to call it. We're just moving the spout around. Just puts in those last few wedges that are sort of trapped on there. Um, they'll slide into the into the machine and we can get them blown out. I do wonder sometimes if people watch this video and they're like, you know what, Joe's shown me that straw blower that many times. I reckon I could just jump on and use it. <laughs> so how to use a straw blower but 
I don't know, it's part of the daily vlog because it's a big part of my life. Like, this is, um, this is what we have to do every day. So, it's real, you know? I could, I could fake it up and pretend that we don't do it all the time, but um, yeah, we do. Do you reckon to reversing skills there then? I reversed up there, spun it around, straight onto it. To me. You have to go in a straight line. I say, it's 20 foot long. I've got a easier longer. I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've just put out the last bale of today. Well, unless they need some later this, uh, this afternoon or evening, because if they do, they'll get some. We'll get some Ad Blue and Diesel put in this tractor. So then we're not worrying about it over Christmas. It's coffee time. And yes, I can still spill it. Oh, look who's here. The love couple. We're just putting some of the cattle back that Ben got out yesterday. It's not, not far enough. Too lean or too underweight. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's get some cattle out. No, oh, no. Huh? I'm getting him down here for him. Ben's here, you know. Yeah, your dad's having a wee. <laughs> Cow gets on that, you'll know about it. He's baking a cake inside. Yeah, mm. it's a real wee, man. As long as he ain't getting paid for it, okay. Yeah. We're not here doing all work. I know. Come on, get up, lads. Come on, nice and steady. Come on now. Is that Yash? No, when Becky's not done it yet. I, I think I know why that is. 80 quid, isn't it? It is. It's not, a, it's not another cook, she could pay that herself. <laughs> I'm telling you now. <laughs> you bought a number for it though. I did, but I did. It's your responsibility to make sure it's transferred. Oh, right, is that it? All oh, right, thank you. Right, I'm fetching straw around now. So I have to film all outside because it's very, very windy. But we're on it. We're shifting now the bales that were on the edge of the clamp because we've actually got to the right point now. So it feels. I don't know if there's any rats going to be in here. There might be one or two. <laughs> They're heavy, horrible things. Evil cars here. Hiya, Becky! It's a moving dog mark. She's used more flavourable words, so. We need to speak to Dr. Kerr, don't we? So, Merry Christmas. And to all his fans. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Don't forget here, you just have a lot of views on it. What? You're a young <laughs> you're, an, you're an old... My old mister. Yeah. You're not that old, mate. Not yet, anyway. Oh my god. Bacon. That pin is not big enough for you. You're not allowed to put that on, though. <laughs> well, you are. It's going on. Bees um, You'll be watching. She'll not be watching. Don't worry. Nobody will tell her. We just got together like I want, we've not got no money. And I want more to the tweaks. And make them a birthday card. And go to <laughs> a Twix? Yeah. That's lovely. That, that, that is your man, that, yeah, mate. That's your I never knew you had an art. Of course. She gave you. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> oh, it's been my day, that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's going on bashful. You playing with the Playmobil now, then? We have the best. After what? Spirit. Spirit. <laughs> What's this? A creator cake. Have you ever made a cake, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's too deep. It's too deep. You have to have a lot of ice in the middle. To make it level. I'm going to put one in the middle. How are you? It's just, just, just level it. Technique cake. I'm going to go shopping and deliver some presents. What are you two up to? Playing with my tail, I think I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> no dinner with me. Alright then. 
Um, I'll catch you in a bit then. All right then, Dilly. Well, I know you're not coming tomorrow, are you? No. Maybe not. Mounted thoughts. So I'll go well, have a tomorrow. have a good Christmas then, Michael. Right, same to you. Same to you, Ash. I'll be here tomorrow. Ah, business. Dilly. Gone. I forgot the presents. Um, I'm go going to uh, see my great uncle then now. And deliver some Christmas presents. And say hello. So I'm back in the yard. I'm just going to pull the car down and, and wash it. But um, yeah, we're really nice going to see my great uncle. I want to get him on the uh, video one day, but I don't think he's really that keen. He's got, he's got a, um, a fair few stories to tell. <laughs> anyway, back to uh, feeding some cattle. To get my... We need to put your vest on, don't we? Your high vis on. Yeah? Yeah. We're we gonna go out in the yard. Good boy. Yeah, we're gonna go and look at some cows and see some tractors. Yeah, yeah maybe. So my dad's feeding out on the TM. Isaac had a little fall, but we're alright. We're gonna go and feed him that. Be careful they don't fall over. Yeah? Some more? Yeah. Come on then. That's it. Mm, I think we might fall over, might we? I think you're going to fall over, mate. Yeah. Guaranteed. They kind of like a penguin. Is the kind of that bump? It's because of that gap into it. Daddy needs to fix the concrete. That's what it is. Go on, one more piece. <clears throat> you got it. Yeah, well done, mate. Hours of fun. Hours of fun. I'm going to um, open the gates for my dad. And we'll put him in a safe area behind a gate where he can't get out. <laughs> Blocking the kids up um, so that he's uh, in a safe place. I'm going to get you to stand behind this gate. Yeah? This gate. Yeah. This gate. This gate. Yeah, you go in there. In there. That's it. But don't shut it. Not shutting it properly. You just stay there, okay? There we go. Do you feel like you're in jail? <laughs> These are exceptionally interested in. They get me out of me. They're trying to get me. I think they're wondering what you're doing, mate. They're definitely questioning what's happening here. Yeah, we've got to exercise a bit of common sense, haven't you, when uh, you got little ones about the farm. So that's why I put him there, so he's out of harm's way of the cattle and way out of the KCB's way as well. So down there now, he's listening to me very well. It's been good. Back inside, aren't we now, mate? And then Daddy can get some work done. Yeah. yeah. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, good. It was a bit fun. It was a bit fun. Good. That's what we like to hear. Right. Well, seeing as our Ben's here and he's letting me dad in, I'm going to blast off Becky's car. Try and make it look a bit nicer. Start giving it a quick blast off. Then we use some clean and green a bit later, but I need to fix a gate. Oi! Stop eating me. Stop eating me. So, just fixing this. Um, I'm going to put a nail through that to make it a pin. And you guys were just accosting me all the time, weren't you? She so lovely. Right, let's give you a good scratch. Give you a good scratch with that. I bet you like that, don't you? Oh, you know, he likes that. I'll put some of that clean and green on there. And, yeah, I'll just start rinsing it off now. Ben's fetching in the mixer. Just got the straw blower to do. Next mention today is a happy birthday to James Daniel, who I believe is 15 years old. So, um, very well, um, very well done on <laughs> being distracted by Ben pulling into the shed. Um, happy birthday today. Um, we're raising money for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. So if you want to get your name or birthday message in the video, then there's a link in the description below. Ben's worrying because he's got an error code on the John Deere. I'm like, no, it's a John Deere. They all have error codes on. <laughs> But no, we need, to, we need to get that sorted. Um, some unidentified error code, I'm guessing, just needs a tweak somewhere. 
Entrance wise, we've raised over seven and a half thousand pounds now for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Uh, Stephen's donation yesterday tipped us over that point, and then um, the donation for James has took us even further past. So thank you very much for everyone that's donated to that. It's really, um, really appreciated. I know from Yorkshire Air Ambulance and definitely from, from me. Um, so if uh, you've enjoyed today's video, remember to press the like button, uh, subscribe if you've not already. Ben's gonna take his um, questionable cake home. Do you think oh. that you'll, do you think it is home? Yeah. Will she have seen it then before the video goes She's out? seen it, yeah, now, because you've spoiled it. Oh, I spoiled, I spoiled it. I spoiled it. Um, so yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be in tomorrow. We're gonna be busy strawing up double time so that we can get everything ready for an easy Christmas day. Um, getting the mixers done and stuff like that. So just trying to make it as easy as possible for my dad on Christmas day, because he's gonna be the person here. I'm gonna be at Becky's mum and dad's. So, um, and yeah, I think Mick and Ash are gonna come in and give him a hand or whatever, open the gates, so. Right, anyway, I'm babbling on. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you later. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Ben. I'm gonna go out again. What, are you going out tonight? Yeah. Oh, you're always I've out. I've got loads of leftover curry as well. I've Have you? Eating that. So. What takeaway? Or oh, did you make it yourself? No, I made three big curries, and everyone else brought food as well, so. Oh. It's oh, all well. good, but it's just like, gonna be loads of waste. Are you wanting to be on, like, British Bake Off or MasterChef next year? More chance than you have, aren't I? <laughs> Right, thanks guys, thanks for watching, bye.